Well, welcome back to the uh, vCenter Site Recovery Manager 5 video presentation series. Uh, my name is Andrew Elwood. I'm a senior technical instructor with the VMR Education Services Division. This video module is going to be a short module where we talk about site pairing of SRM. Uh, as we can see from the overview slide here, we've looked at concepts and architecture. We've gone through the installation of SRM 5. The assumption here is that you've installed SRM on both your protected and your recovery site or your two sites that you're interested in protecting with SRM. Uh, so the site pairing process is a very straightforward procedure where, that we need to do in order to establish a conversation between your two SRM sites. Uh, it's a very simple process. Here's a screenshot from two different ways to implement it. The top uh, version of the slide, uh, we've actually gone into the vSphere client. We're looking at the uh, site recovery plugin option. Uh, clicked on the summary tab and on the right hand side there's the uh, configure link as you can see displayed at the top of the screen on this particular one. And at the bottom of the screen if we go looking at the uh, overview getting started tab essentially there's a hyperlink provided there. They both do the same thing. Uh, once we click on the link it's a simple matter of filling in the information as appropriate, uh, answering any of the prompts, dealing with any of the unsigned certificates if you chose not to deploy signed certificates, and then once that process is completed we can then move to the next step. Um, so here we're showing you that we've got uh, configured and we're good and ready to go. That's what we're hoping to see at the end of it. And I'm going to draw your attention to on the left uh, we actually see both of the two sites involved. Now we would have seen this uh, or we now see this because of the, the concept of the pairing process. So now from that single pane of glass that I referenced earlier, uh, we do have the opportunity to see uh, both of the sites that are involved in the SRM process. So this demonstration, quick demonstration, going to show you, walk you through that process and we'll show you both halves of it, seeing both uh, the, the site pairing process from the perspective of uh, both of the sites involved, uh, and then we'll come back and move to the next steps. So here we are in the installation routine. Uh, we've got two SRM sites installed, uh, but clearly on, from the screen that we're looking at here, we can only see the one of them. So we simply select the pair sites link under the getting started area uh, and type in the fully qualified domain name of the other SRM server, uh, sorry, other, the other remote vCenter server, which also happens to be our SRM server in this instance, but it is important to target the vCenter server in the remote site. The vCenter server from there will form the link to the SRM server. Of course, you can't do that without authentication capabilities, so administrator with the appropriate password. Uh, simply select next and let it go through its routine. We'll get the usual warnings because the remote certificates are just self-signed certificates. And the interesting part about SRM5 is that when it does this, the assumption is that we don't only want to connect from site 3 to site 4 in this instance, but site 4 wants to connect in the equal and opposite direction. Therefore, reciprocity is then established. Once that's completed, we're then going to be prompted for authentication again uh, to uh, connect to the remote vCenter server now that we've established the connection. The first part was the, the installation or the formulation of the connection routine. Secondarily, now that we've told it how to connect, we are going to do the connection. Uh, so this is from the management perspective. And you can see that once we complete that, on the left-hand side, we now get to see both sites. And this is one of the big changes with SRM5, is that this particular dialog allows us visibility into both the protected site, in our case, site 3 is what we're going to use as the protected site, listed as local, and site 4 which is the remote site, and we can tell by looking at the summary tab exactly what the details of said site are, the SRM server, the vCenter server, etc. Uh, in this case, they do happen to be one and the same in both instances. Uh, site 3 has its uh, SRM server and its vCenter server running on one system. So on that note, that's site pairing in a nutshell. So to learn more about um, the overall process that we've been showing you on these videos, uh, you can go to the VMware Education Services section of our website. That would be www.vmware.com slash education. Uh, and the class that you're looking for to get all the hands-on work with SRM is the two-day install, configure, manage SRM5 class. Uh, again, thank you very much for watching.